the resurgence of the short north came from the ground up. It came from the people who lived here. It came from the businesses. It wasn't that someone came in and said, you know, okay, I'm going to dump $100 million into an area and make it into something. It was a slow process of people contributing and getting behind the idea of an arts district, getting behind the idea of renovating and bringing back the old architecture and having a link to the past. That's all right down the middle of High Street is our commercial corridor. So we have 150 businesses, uh, boutiques, galleries, restaurants, bars, clubs. When you go to the west, we have the Victorian Village, which has wonderful old architecture in the Victorian style, great park called Goodale Park. We have also a lot of new construction. It's a high demand uh, for residences in the short north. The dining scene here is the best in the city. You know, we have uh, several of the top rated restaurants uh, annually in the top tens. The district has about 30, 35 restaurants and it, and it varies from white linen to paper napkin. Surly Girl has frequently been touted in national magazines as a great experience, is a uh, cross between uh, bordello, pirate, and cowgirl. Uh, that was the, the theme. So when you go in, you'll say, okay, I get it. Nightlife is extremely vibrant. We have everything from the hole in the wall, you know, old school bar, to uh, great disco clubs, uh, gay scene clubs. Uh, you know, it really is um, extremely vibrant. The short north 20 years ago was probably a bit edgier than it is today. I think that you know now we have um, many more people wanting to live here because there's so many amenities. CNNMoney.com uh, recognized the short north as the top community in the state of Ohio for retirement. And at first I was a little bit taken by that, but the, the uh, answer was more that the new breed of retiree wants to be in the heart of it all, wants to be where there are a lot of uh, destinations, there's a lot of energy. We have tons of events. I've never lived in a community that has more events than the short north. I think that if you are looking to be part of a vibrant scene and you want to be able to walk from your house to uh, restaurants and bars and and to the Clippers game you know, around the corner or to an OSU football game up the street, that this is the place to be. We've got great bike trails, we have wonderful housing stock, and as I say, that, that whole vibrancy and energy that is going to suit a person who's looking for an urban environment. There's a, a movement of people heading back to the urban environment, and in Ohio, this is the, the best urban environment going. This time.